This is jealousy. The fact that Kalen just dropped 35 points. Mitchell had 30 points. Boston had 15. Your ass had 11. You don't like that. You don't feel like you're getting enough touches because of what they are producing. You think you should be playing like them. Hell no. Do you realize that you guys were the unit before Kalen got here? It was you, Mitchell, and Boston. And you, Mitchell, and Boston won 13 games last year. 13 games. Y'all have won 20 games this year. If you beat the Mystic, y'all have won 21 games this year. Kayla Clark gets there. And y'all win eight more games and y'all make it to the playoffs and y'all ain't seen the playoffs since 2016. Get the hell out of here. Yo, what up, it's your boy Chocolati with the Sexy Body. Welcome to a new episode of Chocolati Plays. We are back with a reaction video for Caitlin Clark. But this time, it's more about one of her teammates. Naisa Smith, why did you do this right now at this time of the year? Why did you have to comment on your girlfriend's tweet saying that it was fun while it lasted as a reply to your girlfriend tweeting that you see what happens when my girl gets the ball more. Nice. I don't know what the hell you pissed off about. I don't know. I was going to give you the benefit of the doubt before I did this shit too. Actually, I did get the benefit of the doubt because I believe that you can hoop. I really do believe that you can play. You just inconsistent as hell. You are extremely inconsistent. And I'm talking about over stretches. Over a stretch that they need you. Now, you showed up big time for Boston when she was going through her slump. Boston went through a slump because she couldn't adjust to playing against the, uh, the bigger players in the paint. You came up big. I appreciate you because of that. And that's why I don't talk shit about you. But now, I got to look at this and really, 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 really not try to talk shit about you. But I have to talk shit about you, uh, Smith, because you hating right now. You're hating right now. You were the number three. You were the number three option on this team before Kalen got there. I had to go check it out myself. You got there in 2022. You've been there for three years right now. And I'm going to tell y'all something. In those three years, your stats hasn't really changed that much. Your stats really haven't changed that much. I don't know what you pissed off about. The same amount of points that you're getting right now with Caitlin on that team is the same amount of points that you was damn near scoring before she got there. Your averages are pretty much all the same. Your production on the court has went down. Your production on the court. You were averaging 7.9 rebounds in 2022. You were averaging 9.2 in 2023. You're averaging 7.2 right now. The, the, the stats don't lie, guys. In, in 2022, you were 13.5. That was your average of scoring. In 2023, you was averaging 15.5 points. In 2024, you're averaging 10.4. Why? Because you had to distribute some of them points over to CC. You had to distribute some of them points over to Mitchell. You had to distribute some of the points over to Boston. So you have to contribute in different areas of the game. And you over there being pissed off because you don't like your role. You don't like your role. This is jealousy. The fact that Kalen just dropped 35 points. Mitchell had 30 points. Boston had 15. Your ass had 11. You don't like that. You don't feel like you're getting enough touches because of what they are producing. You think you should be playing like them. Hell no. Do you realize that you guys were the unit before Caitlin got here? It was you, Mitchell, and Boston. And you, Mitchell, and Boston won 13 games last year. 13 games. Y'all have won 20 games this year. If you beat the Mystic, y'all won 21 games this year. Caitlin Clark gets there and y'all win eight more games and y'all make it to the playoffs and y'all ain't seen the playoffs since 2016. Get the hell out of here. This is straight up jealousy and hate because you're not getting the same production as they are. They can give you the ball as many times as they give Caden. You're still not going to score 30. You're not because you fumble and bumble with the ball and you're inconsistent. You get into a hero ball matchup with, with, with whoever you're going against. It happened against Asia. It happened against Angel. 
it happens against them where you just lose it and you start playing one-on-one basketball, you forget about the team. Listen, Smith, this is team basketball. And as a team, you have to know your role. What do you think your role is? Do you think they have to go and dump the ball down to you on every play? No, it don't work like that. If you pissed off, right? How about you score when you get the ball? How about you do that? That's the problem. Your percentages is all down. Look at your free throw position. When you first came into the league, you were shooting at 60 plus percent. Your ass is down to 50 percent from the free throw now. All of your shit has gotten worse. Everything has gotten worse. Your three-point shooting was 38% when you first got there. That shit is down to 29% right now. What the hell are you talking about, Smith? That you need to borrow more so you can miss more? Man, look, know your role, people. Look, Mitchell had a problem with her role at first, right? And now look, Mitchell is the second leading scorer in the WNBA right now in the second half. Thank you, CC. Boston, her, her production had went up until she started switching away from shooting. But did you see the last game where they played against the Wings? You see how many shots that Boston took from outside the paint? You have to learn how to adjust. Your coach has to see these things in game to adjust you. Everybody's production has gotten better with Kaitlyn being there except for yours because you still don't want to accept your role, Smith. You still don't want to accept your role. Go ahead and listen to your girlfriend. I'm going to tell you right now, everybody's significant other. Every, and since you're a woman, right, or I guess you're the man in the relationship, everybody's significant other, i.e. they female companion, always get them into some shit. You better stop listening to these damn women. I'm telling you, because you about to go against them. Y'all about to play each other. You don't want to go in there with the mindset that you don't care about this team because you're leaving there anyway. Because if that's your mindset, you got to get your ass off of this team. You got to get on the bench. Coach Size, listen to me. Y'all about to be sabotaged by Smith. She already showed y'all in answering that damn text message. Don't play her. Don't play her, Smith, or y'all going to lose. And y'all going against her girlfriend in the first round. You don't think this shit is, 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 is planned? You don't think they plan this shit? Women react with their emotions and their feelings. And when they feel like they hurt, they try to hurt you. They're going to try to hurt this team by losing. Don't let her play, guys. Look, that's my take on all this shit. I wasn't going I, I, I wasn't gonna say anything at first. But then I, I had thought about this. Let me go check out Smith's stats before Kaitlyn got here. All of her shit is pretty much the same. She's just mad because she's not mentioned in the conversation with those three. And she was last year, though, because it wasn't no Kaitlyn. It was her, Mitchell, and Boston, a team that got 13 wins. They got 20 wins right now. You should be thanking Kaitlyn Clark. I don't want to hear no more of this bullshit from you, Smith. You and your brother can leave. You brought y'all are problematic. And we don't need no shit like this up in, the, in, in here. We don't. Get your ass up out of here. We can start Timmy and play Dantas off the bench. They better than you anyway. That's my take on this shit. They hustle. They can shoot. They hustle. You complaining. Your 11 points can be given to Timmy and Boston, separated between them. Don't need you. Get Burger in the game too, Coach Sides. Tired of y'all tipping people talking about Burger. And she's not in the game. But listen, Smith, don't let your damn girlfriend get you into some bullshit, brother. I'm just saying. I guess I, guess I can call you brother. Anyway, guys, look, that's my time. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to your boy. Look, if you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Come up, come up with all the chocolate crew. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell so you know when your boy drops videos and live streams. Here's a video for y'all. I didn't want y'all to think that I forgot about y'all. I've been doing more live streams lately, though. Just click over where you see at the top where it says videos, and then it say live. Click on that, and you'll find my live so you can watch them, too. They long as hell, but hey, who don't want to listen to all oh, this chocolateness, this chocolate? Don't y'all love that voice? I know y'all do. Look, guys, I'm a ramble. I don't want to ramble no more. Y'all take care. Peace.